this is my review of the Howa M1500 build-it-yourself rifle. This is just showing you guys that it's a clean target. That's what we're going to be shooting from up there. Try and move slow. We're at point blank range or take aim training range here in Pageland, South Carolina, which is pretty much my favorite range. We're shooting at the 100 yard berm. There's the 50 yard, and they even have you a little 25 yard berm right there. <coughs> Should you require to get on paper, which I find is very useful, especially when signing in a new gun, which is uh, what I'm supposed to be doing. Sign in an AR-15 I have that I haven't pulled on the channel yet. A custom roll, of course. But anyway, this is my hand built. It's not really hand built. It's a Brownells Action Amazon Muzzle Brake MDT Oryx Stock or Chassis 10 round MDT magazine, courtesy of my wonderful girlfriend. And a EP5 5x25x56mm scope. And that's where we're shooting. We are the bottom left white emblem right there. And just to show off the accuracy of this gun. Uh, these were the groups I just shot. That's ELD. This is the ACC ammo, uh, the nozzler. It didn't shoot as well. There's another five. That's right, boys. Five round group. Five round group. Five round group five round group uh this unfortunately that last flyer happened with my last shot and then this flyer happened with my fourth shot so that's four and that's five but before that it was so tiny it was like a, a little mini group but then of course i shot that so i didn't feel so bad but uh yeah this is just my review of the gun man uh, we're gonna fire off some three round groups out of this sucker. I don't think there's any way for me to hold this, but ah. And we're shooting this ELD match. Yeah, I can't load a mag and hold the camera. Oh. One, two, and three. Yeah. Actually, we'll go uh in the spirit of this accuracy, we'll go fives. Three round groups would be nice to show what the gun is truly capable of as they say but i mean honestly uh the more rounds you fire into a piece of paper the more it shows what the gun's capable of uh i don't know how i'm gonna try to stand you guys up so you can see but i'm thinking that brake that ebay uh muzzle brake that works amazing amazon not ebay amazon muzzle brake that works amazing is going to probably blow down the camera after one shot and we are going to be here for a while shooting. Yeah, a little. I have noticed this gun likes to be held tight when I fire. For best results, squeeze tightly, gentlemen. That's one. I've been giving it about 10 seconds in between shot to maximize. Accuracy potential. I'm sure you're supposed to give more than that, but... That one went right into the same hole. Uh, Not quite the same hole. You'll see it's a slight oval. We're shooting the lower left, uh, by the way, first. We're going to squeeze off round number three here. Wow. This thing is just magnificently shooting outstanding out of your brains. Uh, the whole build, I think you could duplicate for about $1,600. We got a UTG bipod. Let's try to put another one in that group. That one was off to the right. And again, we're shooting the bottom left target. And uh, let cool off here. 
overall oh i've got ebay ebay level off to the side level i tried to backwards level that didn't work in a burst 25 moa mount and that one was the highest shot definitely sub him away so not to complain about and now just to give the gun a little bit extra time to kind of cool off we're gonna load five more rounds uh overall impression i got the uh the barreled action from brown l's it's their 24 inch 6.5 creedmoor barrel uh and i i also uh the mdt stock i ordered one from mvt they said it was going to be really late and long story made short i ended up getting one off ebay and uh saved about 75 dollars so sorry about the way i say dollars uh i uh like i said it's this gun has shot so well i can't complain about a thing with it now we're going to shoot the top left bullseye and then we're going to shoot at the top left bullseye and again wait for it to cool off jojo oh you guys fell over sorry about that i wish there was a way i could hold you fellas up but uh, that's probably as good as i can do for now let's give it some more time to cool this gun does seem to shoot a little bit tighter if you give it a minute so well, that time it didn't <clears throat> This shot, uh, we have one off to the right. I'd say uh, three quarters of an MOA to the right. Maybe a half MOA to the right of the bullseye. Oh, well, probably three quarters because there's some white in between there. I want to say they're one inch circles. Oh, well, let's go with shot number three. Again, we're shooting the top right. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting excited. I'm getting a little antsy on my trigger pulls. I'm pulling a little too quick. When you really take your time with this thing, it's just been dogging it. Uh, this gun's shooting about as well as I would expect. Honestly, a, uh, well, gosh, a really good gun to shoot. It's been shooting fantastic. I'm about to become the biggest Howl fan you've ever seen. Uh, the hardest part is waiting to shoot your next shot after you just saw your last shot hit right in the bullseye. It is exhilarating. And that just same same exact place it just put the last bullet. It just cropped one right in the same hole. And it's been doing that a lot too. It's really, it's got some good consistency. Every now and again, I get a wild shot. I mean, one could make the argument maybe I'm pulling these shots just a hair, but I wouldn't say I'm pulling them more than a quarter inch off target. So take that for what's worth at max. Because if I was pulling it more than that, you'd be able to see with the target. And like my AR-15, the AR-15 shoots its best groups when it gets real hot. This gun seems to, once it gets warmed up and going, it seems to kill. We're going to go for the top right target. <sighs> Again, it's just hard to wait for this sucker to cool. I figured I'd do an infield video so that a lot of people don't think that I'm full of crap when I break out whatever guns on my little YouTube channel. That way they can actually see that I actually do shoot them, you know. Uh, I don't shoot as much as I wish I could. That one hit a little low. It looks like my impacts are 
are dropping a little bit down as I'm firing. I might try to move the scope up a hair after this next shot. And once you get in the chamber, you want to be sure to fire it pretty quick too, because as you leave it in the chamber, you have to remember your cartridge is getting hotter. And that's the physics behind that. So you, once you load, you want to shoot. No pressure, right? Yeah, it looks like I want to go one, one mil, one one slither of a mil up. But I'm gonna finish shooting this group, of course, so you guys can see that this gun is absolutely pulverizing. It looks like it probably needs to go up and and as a whole anyway. Let's get one more in this five round group. And that one actually hit just a hairy bear high. I think I'll see where that one shot. I think I'll leave it. That was shot number four for those of you who are counting. Uh, I thought it was five, which is why I'm bringing that up. I don't know if I said it was five. This one's five. And that one looks like it went farther to the left. I'm shooting the top right bullseye if I didn't mention it on this one. Oh man, I can feel some heat building up in the gun. Uh, I did just shoot an amazing group and that's all. You know what, this thing's shooting so well. I'll do an infield review of it. Let you guys see the gun. It also has a uh, Amazon athletic tape wrapped around the barrel camouflage and uh, I saw some guy do it he said it didn't leave any residue on the barrel and which I can confirm for the most part I mean I guess if I take it off anytime soon and see there's a bunch of gunk I'll give you an update that says ah oh, no nah, it does leave crap on the barrel oh, I closed the chamber uh, probably should leave it closed while I'm reloading just to kind of keep a consistent warmth uh. I'll tell you what guys we are going to go dead well we'll go bomb right actually this gun is shooting just amazing it's incredible it's it really i've been shooting ar for precision the black one i told you about and i was like eh Maybe it's me sucking. Maybe that's why the gun has trouble every now and again. But then you get to shoot a target like this and you're like, well, maybe it's not me. Which is always a good feeling. Get readjusted my seat here. This is shot number two. The Howa trigger is so good. I don't know why anybody would ever change it. Let me rant about that too. Two pounds, and I thought 3.5. I have a rise uh, 435, 434, and my AR-15, 3.5 pounds. I always wondered why people would go even lighter than that. These two are shoot are almost these bullet rounds I just shot are almost touching. This gun likes to be held a little tight when you shoot it. But I was always wondering why you'd go lighter, but damn. Hang on. That bullet touched. We're shooting the bomb right. That bullet touched the first shot. This gun is just it's it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I really wanted the nothing fancy nailer rifle, <clears throat> but there's no way I could shell out. Uh, I think they were going for well, somewhere between 1500 and 2000. I think you can get them for 25 now. <clears throat> I just didn't have that kind of money. But this gun has, I would say, been worth the wait.
and that one touched the top left white of the bullseye. You'll see it. It's, we're shooting the wrong right target. Try to make this as interesting as I can when it's just some idiot shooting a rifle at a target and you guys are just having to listen to my dumbass rant. But uh, we'll get our last one in here now, boys. <laughs> Fucking story, but excuse the language. Apologies to you, Christian gentlemen. Um, <sighs> who'd prefer a man controls his mouth because he can control his whole life uh, I want to say the other scripture to it is a man who doesn't control his mouth is like a city without any walls and as we know walls are to defend against invaders <laughs> you're about to see how lights out this gun shoots it's it really is something special and especially at the price point I bought everything on sale um, I want to say that the bill how much I've gotten in is 1450 ish plus ammo but uh honestly uh it's worth every freaking penny this also do for a horn all you guys who are wondering if your eld match is the problem not in this gun so the bomb writes the last group so there you go that's Sub him away, probably, that one's pretty close, that one might be a little, pretty close to an inch. How big's my thumb, three quarters of an inch? Eh, sub him away for sure, actually. I retract my statement, let's see how that one is, I mean three quarters of an inch. And you can see there's space all around my thumb for, I mean, and then that one. I mean, maybe a third of an inch. Five rounds. Five rounds. Uh, but yeah, this this gun's been shooting phenomenally for me. I I really can't express how pleased I am with his performance. I mean, you see those groups. Uh, and that's where I was like, maybe I should go up because I had a lower hit. <clears throat> and I had that one to the right, a little a hair. When I really focused, really got behind, I can honestly say that's what happened. I might have pulled these two shots. I might be pulling shots slightly more than I thought I did because I really focused on that last one when I saw how sharp it was. <laughs> and uh, I can't, I can't recommend this build enough to you guys. Um. If you have the money to do a nicer build, uh, you could, and I probably would, uh, just because it's, uh, all I've got left are these, uh, oh, those are ELDs. I got four left. We'll go, we'll go four more for the bullseye in the center, and we'll see what we can do. But, yeah, uh, that's with really hesitant trigger pulls. Um, I was going to try to go to the, the max range out here is 450 family memberships, 200 bucks. You can't beat it. Join it. I don't want my favorite gun range to shut down because of a lack of people. And, uh, we'll go one more time at this because, I mean, that's like the best five round group I can imagine. I have a gun like this. I mean, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. I really, I really do love it out here. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I can't believe how well it shoots. I'm going to guess we're going to get four more. So we only had one round out of pink on that. Or two rounds, maybe? Was it two? I guess you guys can just rewind it. I'd have to walk back there. I'm walking back up now. Uh... That's what we're shooting at. Box is a little crooked, but I guess it'll work. Uh, but yeah, for the price point, are you kidding me? It's magnificent. Uh, Arkin rings, like I said, Bush. 
I, uh, I got the Bushnell riser off eBay for like 75 bucks and it was steel. And I like to shoot a lot, so I really wanted to match steel to steel. And then, of course, aluminum rings from Arkin are on top of that. And I highly recommend their rings, too. Uh, really beefy, and they're star bit. <sighs> Again, that's the... Well, let's get her set back up, and let's... We'll go three more for the center. Or, what's in here? The ACC Ammo shot not as well by the way i got two more targets that it uh it was shooting and it didn't shoot bad but it didn't shoot as good i want to say it was a i'd mark it as a quarter inch worse maybe not a half inch worse but slightly not as good however it is eight dollars a box cheaper and I know a lot of you guys are like me and like economy is big in your gun purchasing decisions. Are all these? Yeah, they're all the, those are all the AC nozzles. Um, finances are big. A lot of guys like me just don't have a bunch of money to throw at shit like that. I mean, it's, again, there's another one for you guys counting the cuss tally. And, uh, The value you get out of this gun, uh, this Howard 1500, is killer. I I'm shooting all my all my Hornadies. I want to keep some in stock, but I can't. It shoots too good. Cold bore shot. We're going for the dead center, dead broke. Again, we're gonna let it cool off. Give it a second. Let your accuracy peak. What's he going in such a hurry for? Uh. Almost touching it. These both kind of went into the higher-ish side of the bullseye. So I guess as I'm warming up, I'm slightly drifting down. We'll let it cool off some more. I mean, I guess it would be drifting up technically, but as a whole, drifting down. Oh my god, just... So I apologize, I won't be able to complete this with a a full five round group. But what can you do? If you don't have ammo money. You'll be glad I shot those four. Oh, uh, this gun is a freaking shredder. Oh, I wrapped uh, the stuff around that to give me a bigger bolt handle. Put some super glue on it to hold it. Just to demonstrate that you don't have to spend $30. You can spend $5 on a enlarged bolt handle. Oh, it smells like gunpowder from all the shooting. <laughs> my voice gets a little raspy from breathing in all this crap but i tell you the truth i love this smell more than anything i love guns more than anything too hence the youtube channel and the modification i love mechanical things i was a big into legos when i was growing up uh, but yeah we'll show you this last four round group to demonstrate how dominant this freaking gun is and this is a 1500 dollars gun uh, I'm sorry I didn't have five rounds, but, you know, what the heck can you do? 
So remember, that's only a four round group, so take that for what it's worth, you know? Uh, I've probably got about 80 rounds on the gun, so I'm guessing this is where accuracy is finally honed in perfectly. These ELDs are magnificent. All this is outlandishly brilliant. Now remember, the, the rifle on this gun, I've got built for sub-1,000. <coughs> so that's $700 for the gun that I've, I've kind of got in it. And then I've got the, the bipod, that's 100 which I'd, I'd recommend. Spend some money and get a good swiveling bipod. You need it. You do. I know it's a lot of money for two legs that hold your gun up while you shoot, but you need it. And again, $15 for a sack or make your own. I bought mine off Amazon. But yeah, there she is. How about that though, guys? What in the world are we witnessing here? The best of the $1,600 builds. Uh, I, I've got 14 in mine, but again, I bought everything on sale. I would imagine you guys are going to not get the exact same deals. Like, I got the gun on sale at Christmas from Brownells. The stock was on eBay. Um, JB Weld. I would show you what the bedding looks like in this gun, but it doesn't look like the good bed jobs on YouTube. So I thought I'd keep it to myself. So, uh, there you go. Amazon earplugs. Go ahead and buy you a set of $15 am uh, headphones. Or maybe they were 20 I've been 21 bucks. I know, like I said, I understand budget. Uh, headphones are better than earplugs. You definitely want to upgrade yourself to some headphones. Uh, but that will conclude our in-range performance with the best target I think I've ever shot. It's It truly is magnificent. It shot amazing. Better than I could have ever hoped. Uh... I mean, I had some expectations, but I mean, this surpassed them. That's what the AAC shot, by the way. Let's flip this for you guys. That's what I shot with AAC. Uh, I would say that's what you, you can't expect. I guess that is pretty damn close to an inch and a half. Oh, this is that other target. I mean, guys, I mean, dude, really... Look at that. Uh, I have admirations to shoot one mile eventually, but we'll see. But yeah, that concludes our shooting for today. Have a blessed one, everyone.